2020 was without a doubt one of the weirdest and most challenging years in modern human history. And 2021 doesn't seem to be so much different so far. If these times have taught us anything, it's that we have so little control when it comes to the world at large and our whole surroundings. But the last years have taught me so many lessons ranging from fitness key takeaways to nutrition and life lessons. I was pretty upset at the beginning of the pandemic when gyms closed down. Working out has always been a very big part of my life. I love what it does for my body composition, my mental and my metabolic health and so much more, only to name a few reasons. So I was worried that I wasn't be able to maintain the level of progress or intensity I've developed in the gym or even stay motivated. But quickly I noticed that rather than putting pressure on myself, doing hour-long workouts in my home, trying to imitate what I was doing in the gym, I focused on doing these quick 10 to 30 minutes burst exercise sessions. Sometimes I even distribute them over the day. So doing 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening. I found that my conditioning quickly improved and I even got lean out. I never thought I would say this one day, but I'm actually okay with training at home for good if I wouldn't have any other choice. While being quarantined, a lot of cool ideas shot through my head, like building a small online business or creating my own online coaching or this YouTube channel, actually. I've never thought I would be creating videos, let alone tapping into my creativity on that level. But, well, here I am. Well, starting out at least. But believe me, not without struggling first or doubting myself like crazy. Being afraid of starting something new is part of the challenge and norm. The biggest mistake is to wait until you're ready, because that day will probably never come. We all have crazy dreams and ideas and the only thing stopping us in the end is usually the fear of failure. So what would you do if you knew you could not fail? So the lesson here is trying to be less afraid of facing your fears head on. Giving the ideas in your head a chance to make it to the surface and act on those ideas. And what better time to start as a pandemic while being quarantined at home? I've always considered myself a big family guy, but COVID-19 has taught me what family really means. Crazy that it takes a pandemic for you to really, and I mean really appreciate the proximity to family and friends. Even though we've literally never had a big family, we made up for it with closeness and love. So it hit me kind of hard when COVID stroked that I couldn't see them for my birthday. I especially in these times, it's good to remember that tomorrow is not promised and you should stay in touch with your loved ones as much as possible. Like many people these days, I'm spending a lot more time in my apartment. Maybe binge watching a new series on Netflix while enjoying the occasional snack. While this could be considered the best strategy to prepare for the winter, I prefer being able to see my abs, so I try to move as much as possible. That's the importance of a non-exercise movement. So I basically started to go for walks in nature. Over the last few years, I've really noticed how going for a hike here and there made me feel really good. Now, I can't even imagine not going for a walk through the forest at least once a week. It's unbelievable how alive and calm it makes me feel after a long walk in nature, even though I often need to push myself to even go in the first place, only to feel at peace afterwards. <music> 
I've always been chasing the latest news when it comes to health, nutrition and fitness. And the last year had been a new area for me entirely. Not only was my fitness routine highly challenged, but also my nutrition belief was shaken. After reading the book Genius Life by Max Lugavere, great title and I'm definitely recommending it by the way, it led me down a whole new path. Basically it's about eating more of a keto-like diet but with more carbs on exercise days. The book goes into a lot of recent research about what the toll our modern diets of a high carbohydrate intake every day with every meal all the time takes on us and the illnesses that come along with it. I've never considered eating a ketogenic diet that's usually high in fat, moderate in protein and very low in carbs. But after digging into some more research, I found out a lot about the topic of being metabolically flexible and fat adapted, which is probably a topic for another video. Anyway, so I've started to eat more and more of these genius foods, reduce my carbs by a lot and only ate them on workout days. And I must say, I feel amazing. I guess the lesson here is to be open to try out new things first-hand instead of neglecting them right away. Sometimes you can get surprised. I learned and experienced a lot over the last year. Actually, I feel like it's been one of the biggest years of my life so far. And it's important to remember that sometimes it feels like there are so many things in this world we can't control, like diseases and earthquakes. But it's important to remember the things that we can, like forgiveness, second chances, fresh starts, how we choose to confront and react to new challenges. At the end of the day, we are all in this together. So remember, kindness turns this world into a better place.